Hitting is really hard, but teaching your son or daughter how to hit might be even harder. I'm DR Hitting, and I'm gonna show you how to teach your son or daughter how to hit. The first thing that I wanna go over is loading. So often, our hitters love to start out super tall and they lean and rock and swing. But is that the best way for them to remain athletic and use all of their force? Not exactly. When we're starting out with teaching the fundamentals of a load, we wanna start with a concrete feet position. So start with our feet stuck in the ground, making sure they're in a nice athletic stance. So many times our hitters will go up and they'll have crab people feet as I like to call them. So you can call them that too. The biggest thing with helping these guys out is putting them into simple terms that they can understand. Make that reference. If you see their feet pointed out, say, hey, stop those crab people feet. They'll see it, you mock a little crab, do a little crab dance for them, and they're gonna remember that, okay? So from here, you wanna make sure their toes are pointed forward. All right, toes are pointed forward, nice and athletic. Their knees should be inside of their toes, okay? And if they're not there, also show them in a little example. If my knees are outside of my toes, do I look very athletic here? Not exactly. So again, feet are stuck, nice and wide, knees are inside of toes. From here, there's a couple examples I love to use. I like to break it down into top half and bottom half. My bottom half, I want to make sure I'm thinking of my back foot. Tell them that you want them to push down on their weight scale. Ask them, have they ever been on a weight scale before? They're gonna say yes. Ask them if they've ever pushed down on that weight scale to see how heavy they can make it. They probably have, I know I have too. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna say, push down on that weight scale as hard as you can, okay? So that's gonna get them to force this, pushing down, getting into their legs and allowing them to be athletic. Make sure they're not going too far down, but make sure they're pushing down hard and finding that athletic spot. So that's the bottom half. Now, with the top half, drop your bat. So many times coaches say elbow up, but they don't know even exactly what's happening. What's the opposite of elbow up? Elbow down. We wanna go elbow back. How we make sure that they do this is you say, load up a punch. If I load up a punch, it's gonna look like this. You show them how they would load up a punch. Say, hey, punch my hand as hard as you can. And right as they load up like this, you stop them, okay? See where that punch is? That's the position our top hand should be, okay? And when we mix those two things together, we're gonna get athleticism. That's the biggest thing with our load, is we wanna make sure we are allowing these hitters to be as athletic as possible. They're a young kid, they don't know exactly how to swing. We have to make sure they're being as athletic as possible while swinging this bat. My feet are forward, no crab people feet, knees are inside toes. I want to think those two things. Weight scale, load the punch. Make sure that they can keep their head forward when both of these things happen. So test that out without having them swing. Have them take a big step back. From here, I see the pitcher. Weight scale, load the punch. Have them do that 10 times. Feeling both of those things. Tell them not to be a robot. We don't want it to be down, then elbows. We want both of those things to happen at once. So from here now, have them do that through a swing. How we get them to use their athleticism and still be quick to that ball and not get super long and around is this cue here. Tell them to take their belly button and throw it to the pitcher, okay? So make sure you're thinking weight scale, load the punch, swing with your belly button. We want to be able to have them turn their belly button as fast as they can. So again, feet stuck, knees inside, toes, weight scale, punch, belly button. Weight scale, punch, belly button. After they're done swinging, have them freeze. Because after they're done swinging, they can look to see what's going on. Ask them, where's your belly button at? A lot of times they're gonna swing with their arms and end like this. Have them look down at their belly button and see where that belly button is. Make sure that belly button ends at that pitcher. From here, allow them to be athletic. Focus very much on those three points and let that be it. The worst thing we can do is overwhelm these athletes, okay? If we give them 20 things to do, they're gonna remember none of them. Focus on these three things so that they know what they can do the next time they pick up a bat. I'm DR Hitting. I hope I helped you coach your son or daughter into learning the very basic concepts of a load.